Hi, welcome to another episode of the Karenomic Show. Let me introduce you to another concept in macroeconomics called seigniorage. Now, what is seigniorage? Seigniorage is the ability of the government to raise their revenue by printing more money. For some countries, they see that in printing more money, they can sustain their government spendings without tax. Therefore, in Seigniorraj, since the government is able to print enough money, they would not bother implementing or imposing tax anymore to their citizens, so the tax inflation goes down. In printing more money, the money supply or the money that is available in the market will definitely go up. Your money supply is given by the equation M bar over P bar, where your M is your fiat money and your P are your prices. Now, if there is an increase in your money supply, there is also an increase in your fiat money. Now, to make the equation balance or to make the equation right, there must also be an increase in prices. To make an increase, an, an overall increase in your money supply. If we can increase our money supply as easy as that, why can't just the government implement seigniorage and, and print more money? Well, we have to do some weighing of the pros and cons in here. One of the advantages of seigniorage is that it is the simplest way for the government to acquire money. It is also politically easier. It also makes up for the government's inefficiencies. And lastly, it is the easiest way for every government to pay its debts. On the other hand, the greatest disadvantage of seigniorage is the inflation it entails. Inflation in the long run leads to financial instability. And to summarize our lesson for today, which is Seigniorage. Seigniorage, again, is the ability of the government to print money. And in printing more money, you also increase your money supply. And increasing your money supply will result to increase in your prices, which then leads to inflation. That has been another episode of the Karenomic Show. Thank you and good day.